Okay, so you're probably wondering what the flashing red and white light was coming towards me. Now, obviously all the worst possible scenarios are going through my head. Maybe I'm getting busted for camping. Maybe mountain rescue are out looking for somebody who is injured. But in the end, it couldn't have been far from the worst possible scenario because the lights actually belong to Manon and Rosa, two very lovely French girls who had traveled hundreds of miles to come and see the, uh, the wonderful puddle. So where did you come from today? Um... St. Bonifacio, close to Verona. Five hours of train. So long. <laughs> and after we have a wait, uh, like uh, one hour is uh, in a station for going to Cortina. And after, in the night, we are train stopping, checking. And um, after uh, maybe uh, uh, an half. I don't, I don't know. Yes. yes. Uh, but we are like so, so happy about wow. uh, have um, checking before, and we're like, okay, we can work all the night, <laughs> and we work, we work. No, uh, I, we meet you. It's uh, very nice, but the like, <laughs> <try. laughs> but it's okay. Oh, it's a, it's a good, mo it's a good <laughs> moment. <laughs> Sorry to talk. <laughs> and just like that, we very easily came to the conclusion that going home with a funny story to tell was actually a way better result than seeing the lake in its full glory that we've seen in countless amounts of pictures anyway. And so we decided to just grab a quick photo just to kind of remember the night and um, with the right perspective you can turn a puddle into a lake. No pissing required. So, last night was incredible, up in the mountains, had some amazing company with Manon and Rosanna. And this morning we, uh, we went into town, we had lots of food, we visited the lakes, and I left them at Lago Antorno, and they're going to camp there tonight. But I've come to uh, one of the most iconic spots in the Dolomites, Trecimi di Lavaredo. It's the front cover of James's new book. Just check out these views. Whew. We've got clear skies forecast again. So not only am I going to get the Milky Way, there's a space station flyover. So I'm going to get myself into a position where I can get the space station flying over to the Chime. Hopefully it comes out good because it doesn't happen in pure darkness. It's just after sunset. So I'm not sure how that's going to come out. But soon see.
two hours until the space station will fly over to the Chimi di Laveredo. So, the, the highest point of the space station pass is in the sort of south southwest. So, I need to get myself to the northeast. So, over here somewhere. And so, I've got two hours. I can find my composition, get set up, and uh, hopefully, it's going to be good. Position number one, this is possible. And uh, maybe I stand on that rock over there when the space station flies over. That could be pretty cool. But I've got plenty of time, so I'm gonna keep walking around. Sorry for the fish eye. Over to the hut over there, see what I can find. Maybe there's a better composition. Uh, I'm gonna make the most of this sunlight, so change your plan. Oh look at this. Change your plan. There's no time to find another composition, so composition one it is. Because by the time I get over there, have a look around. If I need to come back here, I need to rush. So, I'm gonna go for composition one. And I've got an hour so I can chill out, have some food, have a coffee, and get set up. So I've got the camera in a bit of a precarious position um, but that's so that when I stand on this rock I'll be in front of this bright patch and it'll help me stand out a lot more and the space station is going to start over here and fly over to the chimney. a little bit higher than I thought it was going to be. I think it's still in frame. I'm shooting with a 14mm Samyang lens. Ah, look at that. What a sight. It's incredible. I really hope it's in the shot. And it's going now. Off into the southeast. Let's go check the shots. It's not as bright as I was hoping for, but maybe Photoshop can help a little bit, make it a little bit brighter, but I don't feel really excited about this one, to be honest. So, that was a bit of a fail. I mean, I was hoping for something a lot better. The image I had in my head just didn't materialize, but all is not lost. I'm going to stay here for the Milky Way. I quite like this composition with the rocks. Um, so I'm going to stick here and uh, wait for the Milky Way to come out. Guys, if you sign up to my mailing list using the link in the description, I'll be sending out a private Lightroom editing video tutorial for the image you're about to see. Check it out.